Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to Sekolah Tinta for the year 2021. My name is Aisha Lisa from Six Pioneer. I've been here since Standard 3 and this year is my fourth year at Tinta. Before I moved to Tinta, I was from EGC, Tinta Sister School EGC. EGC was more focused on nature, hence its exposure to their students were about nature, like learning about animals, insects, plants, their species, how to grow it. Once my parents and I found out about Tinta, I moved. I moved because Tinta's uh, education include, included STEM. I was more interested in STEM because when I was younger, I would always be making, I, was always, I would always be doing little projects like DIY projects using recycled materials and recycled items uh, and so on. I also moved to Tinta because STEM will be the new norm in the future. I wanted to be exposed to STEM because with STEM, we can solve some of the world's problems or crisis. For example, Ideas for Robotics, a company that makes robots as the frontliners during the COVID-19 pandemic so that us humans don't have to risk our lives getting sick from the COVID-19. They make multiple types of robots like a scrubber, a fogger. They named the series the series of robots Medispark. Medi comes from the word medical. During the school holidays, I was very fortunate to do an internship with them. I still remember my first assignment given to me. The assignment was, built, was to build a mini robot using a kit. Uh, they had the instructions, all I had to do was build it. My supervisor gave me a week to complete it because he estimated me to finish it in a week. He expected a lot of questions from me, but all I said was, where are the items? Where's the soldering table? Where's the multimeter? Can I, buy a, can I borrow a screwdriver? Him and the other staff members were surprised. After that, I was assigned to do more mini robots, but instead this time I had to program it, help uh, with the design, and I had to build it. Because of that, I had to work with the other staff members who were older than me, but then I quickly warmed up to them. It felt right at home. But to be honest, I wouldn't even have been at the internship if it wasn't for the exposure Tinta gave to me, the STEM exposure, like how to solder, how to wire, and so on. Now, about COVID-19, how has COVID-19 affected us students? The COVID-19 pandemic has caused school to close, forcing them to do online classes. Ever since March last year, we have been in lockdown. Just as, just as we had thought things were getting better, it took a turn for the worst. And because of lockdown, us students were not able to meet our friends and teachers. But because of that, because of the lockdown, we get to spend more time with our family as they are home, like almost all the time. That's something to benefit. Now let's talk about hopes for this year. I'm sure everyone's hopes are for COVID-19 to disappear so that we are able to return to school worry-free able to learn properly without interference from the internet and being able to see our beloved friends and teachers. However, online or not, learning should be fun. And it's even more fun when everyone is present together in online class or not. That is all. Thank you for listening to me. And let's all have a good school year. Assalamualaikum and goodbye.